Thanks, boys. You have a good night. You know, you know what is the only time, the only time. Oh, did I? Did we remind everyone? Hanging out in the bath lab, watching uh, Gulf City streaming, Fred Power Hour. Having a great time. Uh, last time we were in here, we. Uh, We precipitated some Armala free base, and uh, now we're going to try to filter and clean it up some. See what happens. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. This is set for well since whenever it was when I made that last video. And uh, excuse me, oh, those guys kill me. Yeah, it's been sitting for a while. And uh, hold on a second. Home defense flashlight. Okay. So oh. there's the uh, there's the free base sitting at the bottom of the jar. All right. You can probably see that. I don't know, was that in frame? Of course it was in frame. I've got this fucking stuck on wide angle. Alright. So the idea is to to separate the free base crystals from the rest of the solution. And I'm going to do that as simply as I can. Uh, the idea behind letting this sit for a long time was so that everything would settle out and kind of stay down. And this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to pour this off and just kind of watch. And I wish I could see in a couple different directions right now because my hand is blocking my view of the, of the free base. But the liquid is still running fairly clear. Like there's some sediment starting to come across. So I think I did a half ass decent job of decanting that jar. Go for the next one. a moment of overflow panic because the worst thing in the world is to spill this shit on anything because it will stain forever. So I've got uh, I have the pour off liquid in here. This is made of high density polyethylene. You check the bottom, look at the uh, look at the recycling symbol on the bottom. And the, about the only thing, the only type of plastic that you can do this shit with is HDPE. Um, Anything else is a horrible idea because you'll end up getting plastic in your shit. And we can deal with that. There's way to, ways to remove it, but that's a pain in the ass and we don't want to fuck with it. So, got this mostly poured off. And um, I'll show you how this filter works. This is just a piece of uh, 100 micron. Uh, mesh. And, uh, and this is not HDPE mesh as far as I know. I think it's actually Teflon. So there's a lot of things that I can't use this for, but for our purposes today I absolutely can. Um, I wouldn't want to use that with any kind of uh, nonpolar solvents. Um, 
you know, uh, heptane, naphtha, hexane, toluene, any of that shit. But I, I really try to avoid that stuff anyway. So I have a little, a little cup type device made out of that uh, 100 micron mesh, and I've got a paper filter sitting in that inside of that that I've moistened. Drop that on the jar, and uh, let's see what happens. This is this is not going to want to filter. I'll tell you that right now. There's like nothing passing through that right now. So that's what the that's what the stuff looks like. Mud. And very slowly drops are coming through. So this is literally going to take forever, and uh, I know people misuse the word literally, and I am right now too, but uh, it's going to take a couple hours for just this one jar to fucking pass through here. Um, and that's kind of the way it is. So what's, what's going to happen is the liquid will drop out of this, leaving the free base behind. And then I'm going to put the free base back into clean water, stir it around, let it settle out, and then do this whole thing over again and again and again. And it takes for fucking ever, um, but it's worth it. And, you know, this is sort of a... Uh, see, it's starting to pass a little bit faster now. This is... I'm kind of limited by the equipment that I have. Uh... A vacuum filter which is essentially the same kind of setup except for there's a tube attached to this this vessel and you can draw a vacuum in here and it'll it'll suck the shit through much faster but uh, but I don't have one of those I'm working on it but I don't right now um, I have a whole list of different lab glass and equipment that I need but when I get to it is when I get to it all right so um uh, like I said, it's going to be a while, and uh, we'll um, we'll come back to this when we're when we have uh, when we have a, a just a portion of of uh, clean dry Harmala free base, and you'll get to take a look at it. Uh, get to take a look at it when it's like in its clean and natural state, uh, pure harmine or Harmala free base. And then, once I've gone to all that trouble to get, to get clean freebase, I'm going to fucking uh, acidify it again back into acetate. And then I'm going to take the acetate and turn that into Harmala hydrochloride. And every step I take, the product's going to get cleaner and cleaner. I'll probably do that entire process four or five times, and then I'll be left with... Uh, I'm probably going to split the batch up and have half of it uh, pure uh, Harmala Freebase and half of it pure Harmala Hydrochloride. Uh, pure, as pure as I can get it, which is in the 98th percentile, which is really as pure as the lab's going to get it anyway. So uh, I'll get back to you on that. We're still dripping slow. Talk to you later.